In a rapidly evolving battlefield dominated by drones, helicopters, and cruise missiles, the United Kingdom has delivered an innovative air defense solution to Ukraine, the SuperCat ASRAM system. This hybrid platform, unveiled in images released by the British Ministry of Defense on March 28, 2025, marries the advanced short-range air-to-air missile, the ASRAM, traditionally an air combat weapon, with the rugged SuperCat high-mobility transporter 6x6 truck. Born out of necessity and ingenuity, this system exemplifies the growing trend of adapting existing technologies to meet urgent wartime demands, offering Ukraine a mobile, precise, and lethal tool to counter aerial threats. As the conflict with Russia intensifies, the SuperCat ASRAM has emerged as a critical asset in Ukraine's layered air defense strategy, blending British engineering prowess with battlefield practicality. The SuperCat ASRAM is a groundbreaking configuration that transforms the ASRAM, originally developed by MBDA UK as the AIM-132 for Royal Air Force Typhoon and F-35B jets, into a ground-launch short-range air defense system. Mounted on the SuperCat HMT, a combat-proven 6x6 all-terrain vehicle known for its versatility in troop transport, reconnaissance, and command roles, the system features a twin launcher setup paired with an electro-optical infrared sensor for targeting. The ASRAM itself is a high-speed missile exceeding Mach 3 with a sophisticated infrared homing seeker. This enables its lock-on after launch capability allowing it to engage targets beyond direct line of sight when paired with external sensors. While its air-launched range exceeds 25 kilometers, the ground variant offers an estimated 15 to 20 kilometers, sufficient to protect forward positions and critical infrastructure. Its 10 kilograms blast fragmentation warhead is optimized for aerial targets, minimizing collateral damage, making it ideal for Ukraine's drone-heavy combat environment. Procurement of the SuperCat ASRAM was an expedited, ad hoc effort rather than a standard acquisition for UK forces. Initiated in 2022 amid Ukraine's urgent need for air defense, the Ministry of Defense and MBDA adapted surplus ASRAM missiles, each costing approximately £200,000 for ground use in just four months. The SuperCat HMT, already in British service, provided a ready platform modified to carry the twin launcher system. This improvisation leveraged existing stockpiles, bypassing lengthy procurement cycles, and was driven by the need to counter Russian aerial threats like Shahed drones and K-52 helicopters. While exact numbers remain undisclosed, reports suggest a small batch, possibly a handful, of systems was supplied, with additional missiles, such as the 200 pledged in December 2023, bolstering Ukraine's inventory. The UK's focus was on export rather than domestic adoption, reflecting a strategic choice to support an ally while showcasing its defense innovation. Delivery of the SuperCat ASRAM to Ukraine began before August 2023, with operational use confirmed by October that year. Combat footage from the front lines showcased its effectiveness, notably in nighttime engagements against Russian drones with daylight operations documented by February 2024. The systems, air transportable due to the SuperCat's design, were accompanied by training for Ukrainian crews, completed within the initial development timeline. Further deliveries followed, reinforcing Ukraine's capabilities, though specifics on quantities and timelines remain sparse for security reasons. A notable setback occurred in May 2024, when a Russian Zala Lancet drone destroyed one system marking its first confirmed loss. Despite this, the SuperCat ASRAM's rapid deployment and integration into Ukraine's defenses highlight its logistical success and the UK's commitment to real-time battlefield support. The system's role is clear. A mobile SHORAD platform designed to neutralize low-flying threats, drones, helicopters, and potentially cruise missiles within a 15 to 20 kilometer radius. Its high mobility, courtesy of the SuperCat HMT's robust suspension and modular design, allows it to deploy, fire, and reposition quickly, a critical advantage in avoiding counterattacks in contested zones. 
with a reported 90% hit rate against targets like Shahed drones and helicopters, it fills a vital gap in Ukraine's air defense architecture, offering a cost-effective counter to persistent aerial assaults. The twin launcher setup, while limited to two ready-to-fire missiles, is mitigated by the platform's agility, though reloading, likely a manual task for a three-person crew, given the missile's 88 kilograms weight, remains a practical challenge. Its fire and forget technology enhances flexibility, making it a responsive asset for defending forward positions and infrastructure. Implementation in Ukraine has been dynamic and effective, with deployments concentrated in southern regions by June 2024. Videos and reports confirm its use against drone swarms, showcasing its precision and adaptability. The system's compact design and rapid redeployment capability have allowed Ukrainian forces to integrate it seamlessly into their layered defenses, complementing longer-range systems like the U.S.-supplied Patriot. However, its exposed missiles and limited salvo capacity expose vulnerabilities, as evidenced by the May 2024 loss. Ukrainian requests for additional units suggest its tactical value, though its improvised nature raises questions about scalability without further refinement. The UK's provision of training and ongoing missile supplies has ensured its operational sustainability, reinforcing its role as a stopgap solution turned battlefield mainstay. The Supercat ASRAM's impact is multifaceted. Tactically, its 90% hit rate has disrupted Russian aerial operations, protecting Ukrainian assets from costly drone and missile strikes. Strategically, it strengthens UK-Ukraine ties and demonstrates British innovation, potentially influencing NATO allies seeking affordable shore options. Economically, it leverages existing UK stockpiles and industry capabilities, though it's not currently adopted domestically. Its limitations, small salvo size, manual reloading, and vulnerability to counter-strikes temper its long-term potential, but its success in Ukraine underscores the value of rapid adaptation in modern warfare. Compared to regional competitors like the Russian Pantsir S-1, range up to 20 kilometers, radar-guided, multi-missile capacity, or the U.S. Avenger, with Stinger-based and 8 kilometers range, the Supercat ASRAM offers a middle ground, greater range than the Avenger, but less integrated firepower than the Pantsir. Its mobility and precision rival both, though its improvised design lacks the robustness of purpose-built systems. Overall, the Supercat ASRAM stands as a testament to wartime ingenuity, delivering a potent mobile air defense solution tailored to Ukraine's needs. While it outperforms lighter systems like the Avenger in range and lethality, it falls short of the Pantsir's comprehensive capabilities, positioning it as a niche but effective player in the Shorad domain. Its success in Ukraine suggests potential for refinement and broader adoption, though its current form remains a bespoke response to a specific conflict. For the UK, it's a strategic win, bolstering an ally, testing innovation, and signaling adaptability. While for Ukraine, it's a lifeline against an unrelenting aerial threat.